Um, so yeah, I study music composition. I mean, for me, it's more about uh, being honest about who you are as an artist. Because um, I know, I, I hear some people's music sometimes that I feel like they're, I don't know if they're doing something to please their teacher or because they just think it's the right thing to do, but I, I've heard like voices of young composers that don't strike me as being honest. Um, so, I don't know, to me, to me, being honest about what your own vocabulary is is important. My view is pretty skewed because I'm sort of like surrounded by all this weird music all the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that what I what I make is pretty accessible. But I mean, I don't know how many people would agree with me about that. I mean, I don't really believe in writing music that. The enjoyment is where the enjoyment is based on principles that require a specific kind of education. <laughs> I don't believe in doing that. There should be something there that a general audience can grasp onto. Yeah. Without, without you, know, you don't have to like, you don't have to pander when you do something like that. I think like the tuxedo culture thing in classical music is really bad. Um, I think it's like alienating. A lot of the performers I work with um, perform in clubs. Um, they're clubs that have a lot of new music or maybe a lot of free improvisation or maybe sort of like art rock or avant rock uh, stuff or like sort of interesting, maybe electronic with sort of an experimental bent. Um, you know, but it's, it's in a club setting. You can have a drink while you listen to this music. The performers tend to dress casual. Um, I mean, it's sort of modeled a little bit more toward what a rock concert would be or, you know, a pop music event would be like. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Hmm. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's sort of, that's not directly political. I mean, it has some kind of egalitarian bent, but, uh, I mean, it's political within the musical community, for sure. It's important to me that an audience isn't um, intimidated by... Well... Just so that they don't feel like it's over their heads, you know? But I mean, I, I don't... I think about this stuff sometimes, I mostly just, just make things. Okay, uh, you asked me about art for art's sake, and I was going to say that um, whether you're aware of it or not, if you're making something worthwhile or something creative, any artistic products are just, by their nature, they're beneficial to the spiritual well-being of people by experiencing them. I think it's something that people need. So, I mean, even if you don't have an intentional um, agenda with what you're creating in terms of uh, society or the world or whatever, I think that it can be beneficial from, for society, you know?